Today I'm going to be doing a video that was inspired by my friend Jamie Karoma. I saw her start this on Instagram a while back and she's done so many incredible, incredible videos based around a Pinterest board trend that is apparently very, very popular, which makes me really, really sad. We'll get into that. But the Pinterest board is called Outfits That I'll Wear When I'm Skinny. I also want to give full credit to Maddie Dragsback. She was the one who kind of brought this over to YouTube. She was the first person that I saw do this video. So this was super inspired by her as well. I will link her video as well as Jamie's videos down below. I fully recognize that this is a very touchy subject as well, so I'm going to try to tread lightly, if you will, but this trend of only being allowed to have good things or love or happiness or confidence or joy, good sex, whatever it may be, if you're in a thin body, um, is entirely society's fault. Maddie touched a lot on it in a very, very beautiful way in her video, so make sure you check that out. But for me, it's really kind of extra sensitive and tender because I used to be this way. I used to definitely have inspiration photos of things that I was going to do once I lost weight or once I got to a certain size. And even when I was at my absolute smallest weight where I was counting calories every single day and monitoring every single thing I put in my body, it was never enough. I always wanted to be skinnier. I always wanted a different body part to be smaller or more smooth or different proportions or whatever and that's because I was striving for a body that wasn't mine. I am not going to sugarcoat or lie to you in this video. I 100% still struggle with these thoughts. I still have really bad body image days or weeks or months but I think a big part of this journey towards body neutrality or body confidence or whatever it is that you're striving for is internal work. So you can sit there and try to shrink yourself until you think that you're going to find happiness or joy or acceptance or all these things that I mentioned, but you're still gonna be you. The moment I realized that I was worthy and absolutely entitled to all of those things that I mentioned in the current body that I reside in right now, it literally changed my life. So I just kind of wanted to touch on that before we get into this video because a lot of you, a lot of you requested that I do this video and I can't just like breeze past that. Fat phobia is super, super freaking real. Eating disorders and disordered eating, body dysmorphia, body image dissatisfaction, etc., 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 are all things that we deal with. And I think the more we talk about it, the more normalized it'll become and hopefully the less alone we will all feel in seeing videos like this. You deserve all of the wonderful things in life and you have permission to have all of the things that you've ever wanted in the body that you currently reside in right now. So enough of my soapbox. I just thought that I would like browse through some of these lists, these boards, dig into my closet and see what I have that's semi-similar. It's obviously not going to be exact because I'm not purchasing anything new for this video. I believe I put together five different outfits. So let's jump in. Let's try these on and show you that you can wear whatever the hell you want at any size you are. So I tried my best to, like I said, find items that I have similar dupes to in my closet. So it's obviously not going to be exact, but we're just going to have fun with it. So this is the first outfit that that I saw. It is super, super cute. It's like a cute little daisy floral crop top with some cut off jean shorts that are rolled up. I love that. And I happen to have a couple similar things in my closet. So first being this white top, this is actually from Shein. I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but wouldn't recommend them. Not the most ethical company. Yikes. I did make one purchase from them over a year ago and I have this stuff and so I'm going to wear it. So I just have to acknowledge that like I'm not trying to promote it. I'm just being honest. This is where I got it from. So I'm gonna wear it. And this is like a little bit longer than I would like it to be. So I might kind of tuck it up into my bra a little bit and do a little bit more of a cropped moment because that crop top is very, very cropped. And then for the shorts, I had to go with like my handy dandy go-to trusted pair of shorts. And that is actually this pair that I thrifted. I want to say like like two, three years ago. It's by Gap. They were actually from the men's section. This was a men's pair of jeans that I just cut into shorts, or maybe they were already like Bermuda shorts and then I cut them shorter. These are one of my favorite shorts that I have ever, ever, ever worn. I want to say I got these for like less than $6. By no means am I going to do this like pose where I'm sitting on the chair and you know, that type of thing. I love that for that person, but I'm just going to wear it and show you what it looks like. So let's do it. Here we have the first outfit. This is what 
what it turned out like. I'm still not sure if I did the tuck under the bra correctly. It's like a little bit uneven, but it'll do. To me, this is super cute. This is actually something that I would wear, so I love it. And hopefully, if you are a size 16 or someone in a plus size body, seeing someone with a similar body type to you will make you feel more inclined to wear something like this if you want to. I would probably be more likely to like undo this and just tuck it in and wear it like that because that's just more my style. But if you want to wear more skin out, wear more skin out. Be naked. Literally, please. Over the last few years that I've gained a little bit more weight, I have found myself veering away from wearing shorter shorts. Number one, because of chafing, but number two, because I always in my head think that like no one can know that I have cellulite. And it's just so funny because like, almost everyone has cellulite. It's so normal and fine and wonderful. So here you go, in case you were wondering. Don't know if you can see that on camera very well. There's lots of studio lights, but just a reminder that cellulite is totally totally normal. It is part of having a body. Having stretch marks, having rolls, these are all things that we like obviously know, but sometimes it's just really comforting to have that reminder and be like, "Oh, you know what? It's okay that my body doesn't look exactly like that person does when they're sitting down. Like they look the way they look and that's awesome. And I look the way I look and that's awesome. So yeah, not exactly like the same look when you're sitting down, you know, but that's okay. Like it's completely fine. I actually feel super, super confident in this. So to anyone who says that you can't wear this until you're skinny, whatever your version of skinny is, to that I say no. Nay, if you will. Catch me all summer long having every single bit of my skin hanging out if I feel like it because I can. The next outfit we have is this one. It is a super cute look. I'm actually obsessed with this and I have similar items, like I said, not exact, but I'm really obsessed with this kind of like effortless, sexy, like casual thing. And I know a lot of people in plus size bodies really kind of veer away from oversized things. I absolutely reject that. So I have an oversized men's section flannel that I believe I thrifted when I was in Orange County with Alexa a couple years ago. I love wearing this with a little crop top underneath, which speaking of, I decided to go for this one, which is, is this from Aerie or American Eagle? It's from American Eagle. I believe it's called a bungee crop top is what they call it. And then I decided to pair for like the necklace moment. This person has like a ton of really cute stacked necklaces. I have a couple. So I decided to add this one. And this is like a gold adjacent chain, if you will. I'm pretty sure it's just like plastic but it's from Amazon. And then for the star of the show, I have these shorts from Aerie. I think I've talked about them in a video before, have I? I know I've talked about them on my vlog channel, but these are like a high rise, super loose, oversized sweats shorts, sweat shorts. Sweatpants that are short. These are fantastic. I literally want to get these in every single color. I love them. So let's see what the three of these look like together. And here we have the next one. I actually would 100% wear this. I love the comfortability of the shorts and how long they are, even though they're super high-waisted. I highly recommend these. I'll link them down below as well as this tank top. I am genuinely so thrilled with this. And I feel so confident in this, by the way. So just further goes to prove I'm a size 16. I'm not what most of society would consider to be skinny so I really really hope that you will take away from this video that you don't have to be a specific size to wear a cute outfit or to recreate a cute outfit or to wear literally anything honestly. The next outfit is a very trendy one. I see outfits like this literally everywhere, especially around last year or maybe like last fall-ish. I was seeing a lot of tennis skirts. I was seeing them everywhere and I went on a mad hunt for one. Finding cute trends like that in plus sizes is difficult, totally. Maddie actually touched on that in her video and I loved the outfit that she put together. This one is very similar. So starting off, we have this tennis skirt, which is from Wild Fable. And I bought this a couple months ago when I was at Target with my mom. I just like happened to see this. I was like, wow, you don't really often see this available in plus sizes. So I think they had it up to like a 3XL, I want to say, which, you know, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than what I've seen. So I got my little white skirt, like the photo, and then I'm gonna do like a similar thing where I have a green crew neck. This is like the closest one that I could find. This is a thrifted from Poshmark vintage Disney crew neck. We gotta love it. And then underneath it, I'll just wear this polo shirt. This one's from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a cute little collar to wear underneath. So I'm really excited to see what these all look like paired together. This is the one that I think I'm the most excited about of all of these. So let's see how it turns out. Are you joking? 
Like, are you joking? I am really surprised at how much I love this because I know I said I was excited about it, but it's so, so far out of what my usual style is, but I love it. I'm so sad I live in a hot climate because I would like walk out of the house in this right now, but it's like over 100 degrees, but I love it. I love everything from the collar to the crew neck, the cute little pleated skirt, the socks, the shoes. Like I think it all really works together and it's not too tennis uniformy in my opinion, but it's very like just preppy, country club vibes and I really really love it it's so so comfortable and I just like feel so cute and confident in this those are kind of like my checklist right I'm like do I feel cute do I feel confident comfortable is another one the three C's if you will my only critique would just be that I wish the skirt was a little bit more pleated when you kind of leave it alone it does its thing but like if you ever move it around it kind of loses its pleats and then it kind of looks like I'm just wearing a t-shirt <laughs> it's probably a hundred percent see-through I don't know if you can tell but in my mirror you can definitely see like my whole ass <laughs> the skirts also long enough to where I can wear my bike shorts underneath it so that makes me feel like that extra level of comfort both physically and emotionally my bike shorts are like my emotional support shorts. It just goes to show that you can look so so cute in an outfit like this if you're straight size but you can also look so so cute in it if you're plus size no matter what size you are. I am actually going to add this to a list of outfits that I 100% will wear in the future when it cools off a bit because this is like my new favorite outfit. I love it. Next going from the one that I'm the most excited about to the one that I'm the most nervous about is this look. I am seeing so many of these really cute tight form-fitting dresses. They've been all over Pinterest I mean there I feel like that's the Pinterest dress like when you go on Pinterest and you look at fashion posts you are going to see a dress like this but I just picked one at random because there's just so many so I didn't actually have anything in my wardrobe like this I'm not the most comfortable with tight fitting clothing and I think I've talked about that a little bit here and there on my channel I'm a big advocate for just wearing whatever makes you feel comfortable so if you don't like the idea of your belly being out then don't wear a crop top if you don't like the idea of wearing low rise jeans then don't wear them if you feel insecure and hyper focused on your cellulite if you're wearing shorts and you would feel so much better if you just wore longer shorts then do that you know what I mean I, it's all about comfort but the reason that I chose this was because number one it's forcing me to go outside of my comfort zone and kind of challenge my own ideas and put my money where my mouth is like I sit here and I preach all the time about wearing whatever you want so prove it but also because I got a package in the mail over the weekend and it's from a girl that I know on YouTube named Laura Reed and she has a clothing line called live more and it's like an entirely reversible line so she sent me this she's not paying me at all whatsoever this is completely out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna try it out so I believe she carries up to a 2xl with plans to extend her sizing in the future but I thought that I would try it out and let you know what I think so we're gonna do our own little Pinterest dress moment in a size 16 and I'm actually really excited I haven't tried this on so we're gonna see what it looks like who knows all right uh, with this one I've got to say it is definitely outside of my comfort zone it is so super tight it is not something I would typically wear just being honest but with that being said I actually do really love the way this looks first of all it's very comfortable so we love that it does have like the slightest stretch in the material too which makes all the difference especially with this kind of like satin-esque material now that I have it on I'm kind of like this is cute as hell but I've had a complicated relationship with my belly for the entirety of my life since probably I was like 12 years old is when I first started noticing it and like actively hating it and now I just try to think of it in a much more neutral way like okay this is my abdomen it holds my organs it has function it you know carries me through life it's where my food goes into I love food you know I try to think of it in more of a way like that other than like it needs to be smaller or it needs to be this flat or this shape or whatever and for what it's worth my opinion is that wear this dress if you want to wear this dress if you want to wear a dress that's this style if you're a size 2 a size 12 a size 22 or a size 32 like go for it and last but not least we have this look which I have worn pretty much exactly this outfit before and I thought I would cover it because number one I already have it in my closet and number two it 
is one of those things that even subconsciously when I wore this exact outfit that's in the photo, I felt like, oh, it doesn't look the same on me or it would look cuter if I was smaller or whatever those like evil things that the voice inside your head tells you. So I just want to show you that's not a thing. So I have a white tee. This is from Everlane. Again, not a brand that I would really recommend. At least from what I remember back towards the beginning of the pandemic, they fired a bunch of workers for trying to unionize. So mm, not great, but I have it. So I'm going to use it. I got this sweater vest from the brand St. John's Bay. It's a men's sweater vest. It's a size large. It's kind of oversized on me. It fits great. It's super, super cute. I love it with the t-shirt underneath. And then for the jeans, I'm going to go with this pair of Madewell jeans. This is literally just called the mom jean. This is like one of their more rigid jeans, but these are a size up. So they're a little bit oversized. So I'm thinking that I'll have an easier time tucking in a sweater vest. So we're going to see what it looks like tucked in. I've never worn it like that before with the looser waist. Hopefully it'll look good. And I'll show you that you don't have to have like an hourglass shape to look cute in a trend. If you do, that's wonderful. And if you don't, that's also wonderful. So let's try it on. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is perfect. Like I love this outfit so much. Like I said, I've worn this outfit before, so it's not surprising to me, but I love the way this looks. I actually prefer it tucked in. It looked really cute when I used to wear it untucked, but I never even thought about tucking it in because honestly, it's like a pretty bulky vest. But the fact that these jeans are a bit oversized and I'm able to tuck them in is kind of iconic. So I love that. So if you've been struggling to tuck in sweaters or sweater vests or anything like that, I mean, maybe if you live in like the Southern hemisphere, <laughs> it's winter where you are, try your kind of most loose oversized pair of jeans, like the ones that have the most room in the waist. And maybe you'll have some look like I did, but I love the way this looks. I think it looks just as cute as the photo on Pinterest. It's cute. It's classic, but it's also put together. It's kind of trendy at the same time. I'm just obsessed. And again, just further driving home my point that I have just been beating like a dead horse for this entire video, which is that trends and different styles of clothing and things like sweater vests or trendy colors or whatever it may be aren't reserved for anyone. They are for everyone. You are allowed to wear whatever it is you want, no matter what size you are, no matter how much you weigh, no matter what your body shape is like, no matter what your gender is, no matter what your age is. And I will definitely also be adding this to the list of outfits that I will wear and how I wear it from now on. So I've actually gotten some outfit inspiration from this video as well, which is great. I've gotten some outfit inspiration and I've also gotten some confidence out of trying these on despite what society tells us our body should look like. We show up anyways and we say this, you know? So I actually love it. I'm so happy I did this video. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Again, don't forget to check out Jamie's Instagram and also Maddie's YouTube video. Those will both be linked in the description box below. I highly recommend following both of them. If you want to see me do more videos like this or if there are any other Pinterest trends that you've been noticing lately that you want to see me try out for a video, definitely let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!